Hey guys, so today's video is for my girls with oily skin. If you have oily or combination skin, trust me, I feel your pain when it comes to wearing makeup. And um, so in today's video, I'm going to share with you guys some tips that I have um, now that I've been getting into wearing makeup a little more frequently. Um, I've been also trying to find ways to keep it on my face without looking oily by the middle of the day. Um, my problem area is definitely my T-zone. So that's my chin, my nose, and my forehead gets really shiny throughout the day. So I'm going um, to share some tips What I always do is I make sure I am applying a moisturizer that is not oily. So you want to start with your base first of all. Make sure your skin is clean and before you put on any makeup, apply a moisturizer that is not heavy. Um, the moisturizer that I'm using is Cetaphil Moisturizer. Um, you can check out my skincare video to see my entire routine. So I like to apply that moisturizer on and let it dry. Now something that I don't do but I probably should get into doing and also a tip for you ladies is to wear a primer. If you want your makeup to stay on, I've heard amazing things. My friends have been telling me amazing things. I've seen videos that if you wear a primer it helps to keep your makeup on all day. Uh, I always thought that primers were unnecess like an unnecessary step so I never bothered with it. But I'm going to invest in a good primer so if you guys have any suggestions um, for a primer that you like, comment below. I definitely need some suggestions on that. Okay, so the next tip that I have is when you're choosing what type of foundation or BB cream or whatever it is that you put on your face, think about what the product is made out of. Um, for instance, if you have extremely oily skin, an oil-based product probably isn't the best idea for you. You might want to stick to something like a stick foundation or something that's a little more solid form versus liquid. So I'm using the BB Cream um, by Black Radiance and this obviously is a liquid, um, but it's an oil-free bomb so it doesn't have any oil in it but it is still a liquid product and then also something else that I use religiously is the black opal um, foundation sticks now um, honest but the stick is uh, what I prefer to use if I want more of a matte finish um, I know that when I use the BB cream or any liquid for that matter it's gonna give me more of a dewy finish um, but because I have oily skin what I like to do to kind of counteract that is um, I always use some type of a pressed powder. Now in the past I was not a pressed powder girl. Like I didn't understand the point of it. I was like I don't want to look like somebody's grandmama with this powder on my face. But I figured it out by playing with different techniques. I'm starting to learn that the powder is actually very important in keeping your foundation or your BB cream on. If you don't put a powder on it's like a waste of time. I set my face using a powder. Now the powder that I'm using that I'm in love with actually is the Soft Focus Powder by Black Black Radiance and this is in the color dark. Um, this I spontaneously bought and I'm so glad I did. Um, it's it's kind of like a mattifying powder and um, a setting powder at the same time. So what I use this for is I um, basically use my fluffy brush. Um, this is by Real Techniques. I love this brush by the way. Like I have to get more. These brushes are awesome. Um, but I take this brush, I swirl it around in the powder and I dab it on my nose, my chin, and my forehead. And then also I swirl it again and I just give it a quick buff all over to kind of um, minimize the shine as much as possible. So this would be a great option to carry along with you in your purse. Um, I usually don't but if I know that I'm going somewhere and I want my face to stay on all night <laughs> I'll carry this with me in my purse and maybe I'll bring like a small little brush or something and just touch it up when I feel because I you can usually feel the oil like seeping through as gross as that sounds so also another powder that I'm using again by black radiance I can't help that I love black radiance but um um, this is the pressed powder in Rich Mahogany. I have this in two other shades. I think Chocolate and Cafe. Um, and I like to use this one. This is a darker shade. I like to use it to... Um, I like to use this to... Uh, what's that word? Uh, set my concealer when um, I'm doing a contour and highlight. If you haven't seen my video on that, make sure you check it out and you can see exactly what I mean. Um, but that's what I like to use this powder for. So even if you're doing a contour and a highlight, I've learned also that I'm not a professional number one, but from doing it so often, I'm starting to learn um, that 
when you're doing your contour you still need to set your contour as well because if especially if you're using a cream if you're using like a cream base like a stick or something that's going to smudge it's going to like do the same thing that a foundation would if you don't set it so you have to set your contour and concealer also else that i like to do to kind of keep my face looking beat all day is i got this um matte finish spray by nyx and um this spray i do like it does give you a nice matte finish but i noticed that when i first put it on it actually makes me look shiny like it looks dewy especially on camera um but once it dries it gives the skin a nice matte finish so if you have oily skin something like this would be great to invest in not necessarily this one but a mattifying spray would definitely be great to invest in if you have oily skin you carry around like a little powder and a brush to kind of touch up your t-zone area also if you don't have anything with you and you have to improvise say you're at like an event or something and you notice that your face is starting to get oily go into the bathroom and grab a piece of toilet paper and split it in half if it's like the thin kind with like two sheets and just dab your t-zone is basically the same thing as blotting papers you can use blotting papers i don't use them i probably should but i don't um I find that this works for me um, it takes practice and it takes a little time to kind of figure out what works for, you, for your skin but once you figure it out I say stick to what works for you and this is what works for me um, so that's pretty much it uh, oh really quickly in case anyone is wondering what I did to my face today um, only thing I did was apply my BB cream um, my pressed powder to set it and I did my eyebrows and I put on some mascara, some liquid eyeliner, and um, the lipstick I'm wearing. I'm actually going to have a video of my um, lipstick collection so you guys can see it. But this is the lipstick that I'm wearing right now. It's called Matte Mushroom by Ricci. Also by Ricci. This is off topic, but this nail polish. Um, yes. Yes. Like, these colors are giving me everything. These brown shades that they have by this brand everything i absolutely love it so that's it ladies thank you guys so much for subscribing and watching if you have any questions about anything in this video make sure you leave it below and i'll see you guys in the next video bye